me. Co correct me if I'm wrong. May iba sa pattern ngayon ng drafting ng blacklist eh. I would say na iba kasi nakalimutan natin yung pattern nila kapag nandun na si Oheb. Mm -hmm. Iba yung pattern nila kapag wala si Oheb and iba rin yung pattern nila with Oheb. This time yung Lunox sa kanilang napili which is in a way magandang burst sana siya versus this uh, Nathan. Ang problema nga lang syempre yung Karina nandyan and then meron kang Akai na pa-protect. There we go. And ang bida talaga sa side ng Blacklist International is going to be wise. Late game, ibigay men sa Blacklist pero yung early to mid kapag nakasnowball lang uh, ang Onyx pwede nilang kunin ng laban na to. And that was the match up earlier na pinag-uusapan ng ating panel Wise versus Kyrie magkaibang one veteran and one present para sa MPL magkaiba rin ang skill set now with this Karina or should I call it Kyrina Kyrina <laughs> na biglang umusbong na flavor ngayon sa MPL Philippines. Yes, actually, sila din yung gumamit noon. And ito, ito, ito yung delikado. Ooh, Kapag ka na sobrahan ka actually sa vision, pwede kang salubungin knowing na if Matilda yung makakasalubong mo. Oo, Matilda Airlines nga pala. Ah, ang ating nakikita exactly, ngayon. Exactly. Hmm. At ang uh, na, napakalaking uh, uh, risk noon para sa Onyx Philippines kasi si Bimo, para tinulungan pa niyang mag-jungle yung Blacklist. Bukod sa nakuha na siya ng kill, na agawan pa siya kasi dalawa yun. So, wow. um, really, Onyx Philippines, biglang 300 ang angat ng Blacklist. Isa pa sa magiging difference dito ng dalawang teams natin, si Oh My Venus for Blacklist siya nagro rotate While for Baloyski, siya yung nakiklear na minion wave. So, kumbaga yung kanilang command or yung vision sa mapa, medyo different. So, Yun doon magmamatter yung early rotation. Kasi iba yung possible na command nila sa mga teams nila. Magkaibang magkaiba for sure. Pero, Wise is now at level 4. At mukhang ang ganda ng farm. Nakuha niya yung crammer ng maaga. Nakuha niya pa yung crab coin. At mauuna ang blacklist sa formation pagdating sa turtle pit. Ayun na nga. Sumubok si Edward ng go. Oh, tumama yung second skill ni Bimo. Pero, ay, pero super stun with the thousand pounder Ooh, as Edward. Ay tatamaan, of course, ng shadow dance na meron. Si Kyrie, that is 1-1. One, one. Blacklist versus Onyx. Para sa atin dalawang mga teams, kumaga... Alam nila na pupunta dito yung mga players, yung mga kalaban nila sa may turtle side. Mm -hmm. So, kumbaga, pag nakakita sila at nakasalubong sila, automatic, binibigan nila agad. Kinagandahan dito para sa side ng Onyx is that meron kasing hold yeah. si Bimo. Now, for Blacklist International, ang kailangan naman nilang i-take note is um, si Bimo dito, yeah. may tendency kasi siya na mag-overextend. The last time na nakita natin Onyx Philippines versus Blacklist, Binaban nila yung Estes, yung kanila panalo, binaban nila yung Aldous and Estes, pero this time may Karina silang sagot. Bakang ito, tuloy pa rin nila. Venus, pulado ngayon, pero may mga swipe movements si Aji to save him as Wise. We'll go for the chase bait knockdown. Dito against the Onyx, so yung mga kailangan nilang batayin. Speaking of... Blush is down. May pin na gagawin si Bimo dito, pero hindi magiging enough. As Blacklist will punish the rotation coming out from Onyx and... Sa series ng Blacklist at Onyx, ngayon nang ata ako nakakita ng delayed turtle attempt. Oh, na usually, ano? laging may isang nakakakuha. <laughs> Parehas sila. Mm. Parehas eh. Tsaka dito lang din natin nakikita na after makakuha ng kill, hindi pa rin dumediretso yung mga teams natin. Kasi alam nila na pwedeng pumasok anytime. Nakita naman natin yung Hurricane Dance kanina ni Bimo. But again, Blacklist International, take note, nakadalawang kill na si Wise doon at Aldous exactly. to. Exactly. Here we go. 2-0 and 1 with the Aldous. How, at 3 minutes, napakatak gandang farm nito. So, napakagandang start. How dangerous is this, Chantel? Magandang start sa Aldos, magandang farm, level 6 as of the moment. Ang kalaban niya na si Kyrie kaka-6 lang din. Napakalambot ng ibang members, lalong-lalo na yung Nathan ng yes. Onyx. At saka dito, para sa Blacklist International, hindi pa rin Sobrang pa. Kunat. So, Snowball Hero ang Akai. At kailangan ayusin to ng Onyx Philippines. Here we go. Nakabang si Dlarski sa baba. Pero wow, spider senses mula kay Oheb with the missiles. Blender in. Ito ba siya ng mga glooms? May pata naman si Venus! Si Bimo ay umikot na with the Hurricane Dance! Medyo magulo ang targeting, pero si Edward naman kukuha ng turtle. Sabay sinapak! Si Paloyski! This is Blacklist International. May lead na naman. Sabay nag-activate pa ng ultimate. Nag-activate nga! Boom! Fake lang para kay Wise. Kailangan manipensa ni Wise din yung top lane. Napakabilis para sa kanila if ever man na mag-go dito ang Onyx. And again, Blacklist International nakakuha sila ng objective dito with the hands of Edward. Tapos nakakuha na naman ng kill si Wise. Ito yung mga sinasabi natin. For Onyx, kailangan bantayan nila kung kailan sila papasok. Kasi Blacklist International, they're all over the place. Yun nga eh. Lahat no, parang pati yung bottom lane, this is Edward manning up 
to the Pakito also Sabi. having the turtle shield. <laughs> oh, nasa kanya wow. kasi yung turtle buff eh. So, extra damage para sa kanya for sure at syempre meron siyang shield. Pero may ikot yata sa bottom lane. Okay, saglit na wala doon yung Barats. That is an off-cam kill na meron. Pinag-uusapan pa lang natin si Edward doon. But Chantel, this time, top lane ang focus natin. Oheb versus Marky. Interestingly, si Marky ang lamang sa levels. Yes, for, for Marky kasi, ang kinagandahan kasi dito is mas malaking range niya as compared to uh, the Lunox. Pagka pinilit kasi ni Oheb with the Chaos Assault, pwedeng i-burst siya automatic uh -oh. dito ni Marky. So, yun yung mga kailangan din na bantayan ng Blacklist International considering na ang movement ng Onyx nasa top lane na specifically Bimo, ibig sabihin, nakafocus na sila on giving Marky the space. Actually, kaya nga pumunta na si Venus din kasi alam niya na na nahihirapan si Edward. There you go. May onting pag-amba kay Venus. Pero nakaramdam na din ang Onik. Pumunta na rin si Bimo. Bimo versus Venus. Ladies and gentlemen. Pero, kumapap... Sila na yung nagpo-focus sa turret push. Dito oh, yeah, naman yeah. sila lumalamang against Blacklist. Kasi Blacklist kanina, nakakumpol sa may middle lane yung kanilang team fight Kaya na-open yung mga sides nila. Yeah, Which yeah. kind of means na ang Onik Philippines na now. Bimo Supremo na pinagsasapak ngayon ni Wai. At doon naman sa gilid na ko, Venus, with the glooms. Naku, nauntog si Kyrie. Sabi ni Wise, alam ko ang pakiramdam niyan. Pero buti na lang, hindi siya tinuluyan. Blacklist will take kills, pero in the top lane, may trade ang Onik. Sobrang lupit ng ginawa ni Edward doon. Una sa lahat, ang nakuha niya ng Detonus Welcome ay si Kyrie. Tapos yung flicker niya, palayo sa team niya, pero at the same time, may tinamaan pa siyang isang hero for the, instance, for the extra stun. So... Edward really won that uh, post-turtle fight Grabe. para sa Blacklist International. Also, habang nangyayari yun, napakaganda na ng pasok dito ni Venus ng kanyang uh, Circling Eagle. Uh -oh. Kumbaga yung uh, naging tandem dito ni Haji and Oh My V para ma-ilayo yung mga players ng Onik Pero hindi na sila nakatakas because of the slow. Taas ng zone. Ang taas ng zone na ginaatid ngayon ng Blacklist and even Edward giving wise the farm that he needs. Lalong pinapabilis. Napakarami na nating monikers na tinawag kay Edward. Edward Balboa, Edward... Uh, ano pa ba? Edward Pacquiao. <laughs> Pero, Edward pa nga. Edward. Edward. Pero ngayon siya wow. si Edward wow. na dinosaur na. Pero kasama this time, si Kyrie at si Dlarski nakipagkuhan naman kay Wise. Oh. Wise sumusubok ngayon. But Kyrie with an outplay doon sa Shadow Dances. Nandun na pa sa madang likod si Naoeb and Venus for the retaliation, redemption play. Lumipad si Venus. Si, Bino, uh, si Bimo ay natake. Ounce and Browner para kay Bimo. Void crystals for the slow. Mag-aambahan muna. At nandoon yung maliit na Edward. And uh, honestly, kahit na, para, kahit na lamang ang Blacklist International, I feel na Onyx, they know na ang dami pa rin nilang trade na pwedeng makuha. Tulad siya. Le uh, uh, level. Uh, seven seconds on this turtle, Chantel. Mukhang reset na naman tayo. Ay talagang reset para sa dalawang teams natin. Again, yes, nakalamang dito yung Onik in terms of the push, pero kasi iba yung vision na pwedeng ibigay dito ni Oh My V, given na Matilda yung gamit niya. Isang guiding wind lang niya, pwede makatakas dito mga kakampi niya. And Onik, ang pinaka-crucial dito is kung paano makakaipit si Bimo. Kasi remember, nung isang turtle fight natin, nakapag-set up siya ng play, pero blacklist ang tumapos ng yep. team fight. Ayun na nga eh. Well, tignan natin. Kyrie. Napakabilis yung Karina. The retribution ay sa kanya mapupunta. Kinagat ngayon ni Edward. Nakasaba, ayan pa! Look at Haji! Sa kanyang position, lumabas lahat ngayon ang Onik. Pero nandun sinabi mo na kalati ang buhay. Super position won't connect. But meanwhile, Kyrie ay dinilaan ng dinosaur, Edward. And of course, oh, have taken down Kyrie. Eto na for Onyx sila ang nakakuha ng turtle pero again they took down Kyrie for Blacklist International. Para dito sa Blacklist, dito na natin nakikita. Sumasama na from time to time si Oh have pagdating yep. sa team fight. So yeah. pwede na silang umengage for a turret push. Pero, ang kailangan naman nilang bantayan, si Dilarski kayo na pa nasa bot. Yep. So, nabibigyan ng economic advantage ng, on, ng, sa Onyx Philippines dahil dun sa movements ni Dilar. Kaso nga lang, nalulugi sila sa teamfights. Kung papansinin mo, freely nakapunta sa backline si Edward. Again, 
kakaibang klase ng Detonas Welcome. Usually, ay ibabangga mo papunta sa team mo. Pero siya, ginagawa niya, pag meron siya Detonas Welcome na meron siya nakain, ibinabangga niya doon sa mga teammates. Pe Tapos, ilalayer nila ng ultimate ni Haji na nasal gilid yeah. para extra chain stunts. Napakagandang plays coming out from Edward. Pinapasa niya eh. Mm -hmm. Kumbaga, aliyo play. Aliyo play eh. Kumbaga, para siyang, alam mo yung ibon, kapag pinifeed yung mga anak niya, ganun eh. Pinapasa doon. <laughs> Tinuto ka muna, tapos tinuto oh. all. Pero may kita natin dito, Blacklist International, ang taas na ng farm ni Wise. Exactly. Napakabilis niyan for a 10-minute game time. Kumaga, kaya napakatapang na ngayon ang Blacklist na mag-set. At saka 4-0-3 pala si Wise. Ooh. Exactly. Seven kills ang naiambag together with Venus. Pero ito guys, ah, kaila KDA machine, look at this. Eight assists. Wow. 100% actually, siya talaga yung nagdidictate din ng tempo dito Pero bottom lane, direkado yata si Wise Kinatarget nila pero ayun, naging spaceship Pero hinarangan, oh. nagandang block na meron ngayon side ng Onyx Pero nagdipper si Haji, kailangan na ba mag-back ng Onyx pumasok Si Venus, eto na, oh. ay naku po Venus Inatake lang si Marky KO Pero dalawa na mawala sa side ng Team Blacklist International Dahil nasa likod pala si Haji, si Kairi pala The Assassin, the present, tumatakbo ngayon si Haji Kyrie Uy, is here. Sob, parang gandang slow. Grabe yun. Para hindi siya maabot. Off mm. angle. Off angle. Off angle para dito kay Haji. Pero tatlo na nakuha ng Onyx. Tapos Ganda. pwede nang kuhanin dito yung Lord Objective. Oh. De derecho And Onyx ang makakakuha nun. So, napaganda play mula sa Onyx Philippines. Sabi yung ginawa nila, nung mag-uulti na si Wise, si Marky na malayo, siya yung tinarget. Sabi niya, okay, nag soup na ganun siya nag switch account siya doon sa teammates niya may kita natin sa replay brought to us by Oppo eventually si Venus ay itutulak muna ni Marky kaya nakapag damage muna siya bago siya namatay tapos sa likod nandun si Kyrie so ang ganda bigla nung, uh, nung collapse ng Onyx Philippines imagine si Marky tinanggap niya yung suntok ni Wise instead na lumayo. Yeah. Kaya yeah. napatay nila si Wise. Tapos yung sinasabi natin kanina na Hurricane Dance dito ni Bimo, ginamit niya rin ang mainam oh, oh. against Grabe. Aldous kanina kasi nailayo niya rin doon sa real world manipulation ni Haji and the Onyx. Ito yung sinasabi natin. Pinaliit nila yung mapa ngayon Lum ng Blacklist. Lumiit ang mapa ng Blacklist and Marky, uh, like what Wolf said, si si tinanggap yung sapak ni Wise. Ang bagong bad boy. Grabe. <laughs> Ang bagong bad boy sa MPL. <laughs> si Mr. <laughs> <Mister, laughs> the bad boy eh, no? Mr. bad boy. Uh, uh, pa, medyo bad boy, medyo Marky. Medyo bad boy, Marky. <laughs> With the four wise. Ay, Ay si nako. Wise. Okay. Entropy in para kay Marky. Medyo magkukulapsa naman ngayon. Edward. Edward. Edward, nagahanap ng kanyang ngayon niya din. Pero sino yun? Nagkakansela na. But Haji with the super slows. Nandun si Dlarski na nasa ba ng gilid. Nautog na. Hindi na siya makawala sa ring. Nasa loob na siya. Pero mukhang itutuloy pa rin ng Onyx. Nag-call ang Onyx ng laban daw. Laban lang sabi nila. Pero atras muna as a blacklist. Sabi nga ng mga players, nice step. Nice, nice step para Nap sa Blacklist. Napakagandang depth kasi usually pag uh, level 1. Onyx, that is massive here. At this point, don't forget they've got name primed and ready. Marky, despite being 0-1 mm -hmm. and 2 on that name, he's actually quite ferocious. Yeah, look at that low kills. I mean, we're used to seeing games now in this one, like 15 plus kills per team, 20 plus kills. But at this point of the game, it's only 9 to 6. And Onyx are in control, but Blacklist, they're not out of this game. Yes, Onyx are in control. They seem to be handling the fights well. Kyrie is timing the use of his uh, damage immunity. Marky now has a win of nature. The Blacklist, they're still in this one big play by Ohem, Wise, Haji even with one big great RWM and Onyx. If they misplace and mistime their abilities and misplace, misposition themselves, that's how Blacklist can turn it around. You mentioned the Prince. You mentioned Ohem. Haven't felt him as much just yet. Yeah, not quite. I think that is uh, surprising considering what we've seen from him in the past series. Even in the previous days of the uh, playoffs, he was, he was fire. Right now, that fire is definitely being watered down here by Onyx. Yeah, it's a testament to, again, that turtle that Onyx decided to give up because Kyrie didn't have his retribution. He decided to help Marky. 
Marky got to maximize the gold there. Oheb was not able to maximize the gold from the turrets. Plus the fact that Kyrie's just been looking for Oheb. His second death earlier came from the fact that Kyrie, even though the rest of Onik were in that team fight, Kyrie was like, no, I'm just gonna wait for Oheb. And then he was able to find him. So it's great targeting and tracking right now by Onik that Blacklist, now at this point, are having a hard time maneuvering around the oh map no. and he fights. Space check here by Wise. Conceal forced out of BMO. Could have been disastrous for the Aldus here, but he's gonna get his orange buff stolen away. Onik is going in for the choke. So this is a uh, complete opposite of what we usually see when Blacklist uh, are actually playing on this Aldus. Usually they're the ones who are doing the hunting. It's a completely different story, and this is just showing how Onik just seems to have read what Blacklist usually wants to do, and they are actually not really countering it, but they're going, they're just playing a lot better with the lines they have. There's no counter here. 15 minutes in, Lord just spawned in. This is a Luminous Lord, Venus, playing footsie with Boloiski. Renmar, you see Oheb here, pick up the Holy Moly Crystal. Is that gonna be what <laughs> no, he needs Holy exactly? Crystal. Is that gonna help turn things around for, uh, for her Blacklist here? Yeah, it helps him with damage, but he'll need to be able to execute what, with what is a very oh. choke-centric Onik teamfight style. Maloyski looking low, can Wise finish up? There's the Order of Brilliance, Kyrie taking quite a bit of damage. Circling Eagle set in from the oh, back line. Whoa. Wise knocks out Maloyski. Could there be another one coming in? A window truncheon sent in here by Kyrie. He gets a double two kill. Wise, two down on the side of Onyx Philippines. Delarski gonna be their next target. You ain't going nowhere, sir. Immortality pop and the CEO taken down. Triple. Oh, this is risky. They're still going. They're still going and they're gonna take one more. Fimo is running away. Look at that. Sprint. Maniac? No. Sprint. Sprint, Haji the machine, one more basic, a shield comes up. Ooh. They are instead gonna go for a push. There's only so much damage Mark can put on the table at this point in the game. 16 minutes in, second Lord, for free go in a blacklist. Yeah, can I just say what happened there? Absolutely beautiful. Wise came in like way past the time that he should have, but it worked. Like all they needed to do was to make Oheb survive and not reset the Karina. Exactly. Fashionably late. Fashionably late. Yeah, uh, a, a wiser doesn't arrive late, he arrives exactly on time. Yeah, so wiser, everyone's yeah, wi just... Wiser, because he's wise. Everyone's right. just early. Yeah, everyone's just early. <laughs> and o Onik, though, overextended in that team fight. Said it, Blacklist definitely still are in this if they could win one crucial team fight. And they did! And it was for a Lord, too! That was the team fight that they were looking for. Mid lane tier 2 going down. Edward at the front lines. Bottom lane wise, just woo, popping up. If I'm not mistaken, that's what five or six basic attacks away from that Aldus going down. Bottom lane inhibitor for Onyx Philippines, and just like that, maps evened out. Yeah. Again, one thing I would really love to see in future patches if they, we had like a, a stack counter here. Yeah. <laughs> someday, someday we'll have that. So I can see how massive this all just is right now because I yeah. feel like those those punches are. Ooh, you're shuddering. You're bone crack. That's like an after sound. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when you land when you land it onto someone they're just going, <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That's how you do it. Oh, they have to be careful here. Black is looking for another entrance. There's an RWM keeping BMO down. Kairi Dilarski looking for an entrance. They Ooh. find it into the back line. They go. Oh and in comes Wise oh. with the chase fate. BMO. Hurricane Dance onto the Aldus. He's gonna go down here. A punch Yikes. in by the Aldus. And Circling Eagle, Kyrie, caught out of position. He's getting chased by all five members of Blacklist International. Will he survive? Answer oh, might be no, because there's a Holy Crystal. Damage set in by Haji. And there's a shutdown. Oheb finally welcome to King number one. Bad, but I think that's the best case for, <laughs> for Onik right now. Ky Kyrie bought a lot of time. Oh, yeah. But they can clear this wave, I think. Yeah, Blacklist is going for the mission oh, here. And that's mission taking top lane inhibitor. So that's the first penetration of this game. That's the first inhibitor taken down. And they trust their minions and their turrets so much. I know what you're talking about. The machine. Kung baga, kahit yung reward manipulation niya dito, para naging machine na rin. For Blacklist, kakagamit niya lang kanina. Nagamit niya ulit. And ito yung delikado for Onyx. Ang pinakakailangan nilang iwasan is yung mga moments na pinipilit nilang pumunta sa likod. Yes. Kasi yun yung strength exactly. ng OB eh. So tinry ni Dilarski na i-cancel yung ultimate doon ni uh, 
Haji, pero parang hindi rin niya napaganda. Meron siyang winter trance yung tapos flicker play. Tapos so, naging safe naman siya. Yeah. And then wise, inipit siya ni Bimo papunta doon sa sa tore ng Onik pero parang napasama pa kasi parang lalo pang nakasuntok doon yep. si Wise and that meant na nakapag-push ang Blacklist. Ang pinag-uusapan natin kanina was the late game of Blacklist International. Mm-hmm. You have Aldous Wise, you also have the Lunox on Oheb but one guy, Haji, mm-hmm. making it easy for his, his scores. Yep. Haji G easy for his scores. Exactly. Yes, the, iba, iba dito si... Zone, eh. Iba yung... Uh, Um, mental stability actually dito ni Haji kasi may mga moments na napakagulo ng team fight pero makikita mo kung saan niya dinadala yung yes. um, mga bitawan niya dito for the mm-hmm. real world manipulation kung maga silang dalawa ngayon ni Oh My V ang nagdidictate kung sino ang tatarget and minsan si Oh My V tagapagligtas na siya ngayon tagapagligtas eh oo nga eh at alam ng Onik to alam ng Onik okay kailang, tama kay Chantel eh kailangan natin kunin yung likod kailangan mawala yung zone na meron that's why umaabot si Kyrie doon sa dulo na, talaga lumikod oh no okay si Wise si Wise Ito ang kanilang target. Nandito si Naohai for the save. Wise, meron siya immortality ngayon. Pero makawala immortality. Five. Nandun si Naohai for the billions. Pero si Haji pa rin. Swipe in. Swipe out. Habang si Kairi siya naatakihin. Pero lumipad na naman. Ang tagapagligtas na si Venus. Kairi tumatakbo na. Si Edward ni North North. Yum, 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 yum. But Haji with another kill. Haji is alive. Hindi na pala. Dahil si Kairi malalasit siya. Pero si Baloyski tumatakbo. Tumidepensa na lang si Vimo Supreme. But that is still Blacklist International getting, getting three kills. Ooh. Haji for the first time finally. Nagkaroon ng death thanks to Kairi. But Kairi, Uy, di pa pumipwersa na lang. Mainit. Pero ang unat pa rin lumipad ang Reyna. Bimo, immortality. At mukhang makakapagdepensa pa rin si Kairi. Wow! What is happening? Kailangan talaga ng dumepensa dito na Onik kasi nga lang ang pinaka-dedepensa lang sa kanila una mo boy si Marky. Okay, meron silang pag-clear na minion wave. Grabe. Pero si Rang inhibitor turret. Grabe dito yung Blacklist International, yung Ruby DD play ni Oheb actually. Yun yun just to save his teammates. Ganun ka grabe yung teamwork dito ng Blacklist. Yeah, bitch, Isang so, lane lang. Nito. Isang mm-hmm. lane lang. Kaya na naprotektahan ni Oheb ng todo si Wise that time. Sobrang bilis na Lord take. For sure may Lunox. Oh, oh. oh. Pero napakabilis ang Lord na yun. Okay. As Blacklist, finally, another Lord. Hihintayin nila to this yeah. time. Nung nakuha din ng Blacklist yung Lord, may mga nag- nakagamitan ng uh, Cyclone Eye, pero sabi nila, kinuha namin Lord para itry na tapusin yung laban, kaya hindi uh-huh. sila nag-engage. Actually, napalalim si Bimo during that time. And Onyx, ang kailangan nilang gawin ngayon is as much as possible, yung shadow energy dito ni Baloyski is maging dual purpose. Clear na minion wave, tsaka mag-deal ng damage para yeah. na dito si Marky. Kailangan nyo mapatama ng maayos. Mm-hmm. It's Baloyski na may, may, may pressure dito to use that wisely. Yep. Napakahirap na defense nito para sa Onyx. Ang wave clear lang nila ay Lilia. Here we And go. Maybe itong Nathan. It's gonna be very difficult. Blacklist in the advantage. Si Kyrie na sumayad ng ligilid. Sabang si Kyrie nandito si Wise sa baba. Naglabas na naman. Diamond para kay Haji. Ooh. Haji ngayon ang pinapanatan ni na Kyrie. Pero tinatayuan lang siya ni Haji. Habang si Nakobal Drolarski with the flicker out. Oh. Yun ay paglipad ni Venus ngayon. Si Baloyski ang main target. Gamit ng glooms. Eto na naman. Di Donas welcome. Pinasa. Eto ay of course nag-iisa na lang siya Kyrie. Ooh. Hindi na siya nabuhay pa. Nawala yung mortality at mukhang yatap ang the present. Is he wise? Oh. Tapos. This is Or is Haji. it? GG, well played, game number Edward. one. Woo. Para sa side ng Blacklist International. Blacklist International.